Hello folks, Sam Owens here and uh, I've got another Vivor product. Uh, this time it's a salon chair. You might know it as a barber's chair, but really it's used for tattoo artists, uh, uh, makeup people, anybody that you need to sit down in a chair and be able to lean it back and perform uh, tasks on them. This could be the chair for you. We're going to assemble it, and it doesn't really require a lot of assembly skills. Uh, all of the hardware that you're going to use uh, right, is right here, six bolts, to attach this to the pedestal up there on the counter. And all of the bolts that the armrest and the backs, ever, everything is uh, in the back and the seat. So they've already put them in there so you don't have them loose. Uh, they show you the assembled chair, how it will look. Uh, all of the uh, product uh, components are in here and uh, names uh, are shown on there like this little thing right here is a foot bar. So this is going to be mounted on the pump and this is the pump. It's going to elevate the chair up and down. And uh, we come on over and it shows assembling the base and the pump first. But I'm going to assemble everything on the table. So I want to go to the, to the other components and this will be last. So that I have the pedestal on there and then I can uh, mount the chair. Okay, we're ready to assemble the armrest to the uh, seat. And uh, before we do, I wanna point out one thing right here is a screw that is an actual adjusting screw for the angle of this when it's sitting at rest, when it's not reclined or anything. Uh, you can, now you do, to adjust this, you need to have uh, the chair reclined a little bit to take the pressure off of the screw. And then the screw will be able to be adjusted. And maybe you don't want it straight up. Maybe you want it back a little bit. This is the screw that will do it. And uh, uh, just wanted to point that out. It would take an Allen tool like that. All right, now... Here's one decision you have to make is getting these correct. I have the bottom showing up. So this is the left hand side when the seat is turned over. Uh, this you want the, uh, the extended part toward the front of the seat. This is the back. And this is the front. And it's best to just go ahead and do it like this. First thing I'm going to do since this is over on the side you can see real good. I'm going to go ahead and mount it over here. We need to remove these three bolts. If they're too hard, this is a 12 millimeter and you can just loosen them up with this. Actually, just take all six of them out and that's what I'm going to do right now. I got all six of them out. I put three of them over here and I'm going to operate from here. And what I do is just kind of push in or go like this, kind of at an angle just to get it started, there, and then I can push down and get the others in, and kind of push, so that I can hold the adjustment and get the others in, and hold it with my knee. Now I'm going to try and get these in. Yeah, that's going to be the trick. Getting that center one in, putting a little pressure to it. And the others will go. Okay. okay, there's the first arm. And I can see straight into the hole and for the screw threads. Get started. And I'll go through the same procedure I did before. And, and this is the front of the chair, that's the back of the chair, and this is the bottom. Uh, they're saying in the next step four, 
we install the leg rest here. And this is the leg rest. And it's going to mount right here on these four bolts. And we've got to take those out in order to uh, install it. You're going to need an H6 Allen tool. It can be the one that's an L shaped. I have one here that I can mount in a screwdriver holder. And we just take these loose, all four of them. And this is the last one. And there is a washer attached to them, and you'll want to reuse that. Okay. Now, we're going to put this on here like this and get the back two in first. I'll get this one here, line up the holes, and it's a good idea to go ahead and put your Allen tool in there. Actually, this is a back hole. I get the last one here, and they go in easy, and then you want to tighten them down good and firm all the pump to the base with six black bolts and right here is the pump this is just a, a collar that you know gives this uh, a little cover so that's all that does but we're going to screw these uh, six into right through here as we put it on there we will be screwing them in from back here so I'm going to probably have to just put this thing right here and line the holes up just like that and I can feel them so actually you can look and see the screw holes and then actually tip it a little bit find the hole and there it is and uh, there once you get one you're pretty well home free. So use your fingers to just kind of tighten it in there a little, little bit. Not getting it cross threaded. Kind of put it down flat. Ah, there. Okay, I got that one in. Once you get one or two in, then I see you can lean this up like this and then it will be easy to just come in here and line up the screw is pretty easy. Now this is another type tool and I showed on the base or, or the base the back rest uh, how you could adjust it. This is an H5 and you'll need uh, an Allen tool to tighten these up and you can use one of these or you can uh, use a an H5 and your little screwdriver holder and you will just go around and tighten them all up. Okay, the base is all tight. Now we can set it upright and go to the next step, which is to put the pump handle on them. And they call it a foot bar right there. There's only one way this foot bar goes on and they're even showing you in some pictures here what is wrong, these type are all wrong and they're positioned in the wrong position. This is the correct one right here. And I'm gonna show only the correct way to do it. And I'm gonna orientate this just like that picture is. We gotta have it going from this angle. You do not want it going over this way. It needs to go around this way. But why I did it this way is to show you when you get it in there, there's some recessed areas here and on the other side and there's a screw right here. This and the one on the other side are H4 Allen uh, bits. So here's my H4 and you want to make sure if it's not all the way out when you look in there you don't want to see the point sticking out or you can't get this in. So be Look through there and they are adjusted back. So you want to make sure they're back far enough or that will be a problem getting them all the way in. So now I'm going to put this in the position that they show like this. And 
we're going to put this. And the way you do that is you have to squeeze this a little bit with your hand and get them both in to the hole at the same time. And then you can kind of squeeze and rock back and forth till you get it in there. You can feel it moving in and you want to get it till it's That looks like as far as it's going to go. Yep, there. Now I'm going to see if I can screw this in and it will not pull out. That looks like it's doing it. I'm going to tighten it and put the other side in. Tighten it. What it is is a pointed screw so it's going to fit in that slot. And now, yeah. Now you're going to do this with your foot, not your hand, so, but just for demonstration, I'm seeing that goes. Just to de demonstrate how the pump works is you pump it up with your foot, and then when you want to lower it, and I've got to put some weight on, you just push down and hold it, and then let go when you get to the position you want. We'll demonstrate this later. It's all the way down now, but pushing all the way down will uh, release it. The next step is to place the, the seat on top of here and notice there's a pin right here. Right there is the slot that that's going to fit in. So I'm going to pick this up and have that slot facing right there. And set it right on here. And looking for the pin right there. There we go. Now the next step is to remove these three bolts and they need a H5 bit. It clearly shows you how to take those three bolts, line these holes up, and I'm going to get one started, the top one, because it'll hang from this. So go up and then go down a little bit. You can see it right in there clearly. Then get your screwdriver lined up in it. feel around until you get it started and get it a ways in but don't tighten it all the way just get it to where it'll hold it this is the last one all right line up make see so you can get it crooked uh, kind of line it up and I'm going to do the top one first when it's in the center line This appears to be the back of the pillow, and this is where a person's head's going to go. And it just goes right up in this. No it's got points there. And you just push it down in there. Have a seat. Okay, okay I'm going to demonstrate uh, the chair and the features. Okay, she's sitting in there. If I want to raise the chair, then I press on this and pump it up to the level that I want to do the, uh, the task that I'm going to perform. Now, if I want to lower her down for like eyebrows or uh, shampooing the hair, now get ready to lean back. Lean, lean, okay. Right there, we would be ready to do whatever. And you can adjust the head rest to whatever you need right there or right there. Okay? All right, now we're going to uh, raise her up. So you just kind of come up. There you go. And as long as you hold that, you can freely move this back and forth. Now, if I want to lower her down after we're complete, then relax push and hold and if I let go while I'm pushing down it's when I go all the way down that it releases okay as you're pumping and you don't go all the way down it'll pump it up then to release all the way down cool okay exit the chair okay. please thank you thank you sir 360
comes all the way around so you can get the customer to wherever you need to perform the task. Okay, it's a really nice chair. Looks good. Uh, but uh, there you go. The handles look good. Nice support. All right, folks. Uh, I think this is going to accommodate a lot of different professions. And uh, if you need a, a chair for your business, this could be the one. I want to thank you very much for watching my video.